Hi, so welcome to today's uh, video on the next scoring app I'm looking at. Today's video is all about this app here called Artemis Light. Uh, it's the second uh, app I've looked at. First one was uh, My Targets, if you want to go back and have a look at that video afterwards. Um, this vid this uh, app, Artemis Light, is made by uh, Marcel uh, van Appeldoorn and uh, Marcel has uh, done other apps as well. The one I've actually used quite a lot, which is called Arrows, which sort of helps you pick out um, the correct spine and things like that for your arrows. So I, I do use that quite a lot, and that's pretty good, um, rather than using the kind of Eastern arrow charts. So Artemis Light is, um, well, more than a, an archery scoring uh, app. It does a lot more things. But today I'm really only interested in looking at the... Uh, how it sh how it records shooting really because that was kind of what I was looking for in an app. Now Artemis Light, uh, you can install it straight away and there is a free version of it, but there are also um, other versions, other paid versions as well, and you will find some ads um, in this free version as well um, on some screens at the bottom um, on some pages, um, not too. Uh, annoying but a little bit annoying that sort of appear so let's first of all um, before we go too far just look at the different versions um, that are available and the kind of prices right so these are the main features of the free version with the ticks on them obviously the uh, lines that don't have the ticks on are available in the other versions which I'll show you in a moment so you've got a, quite a few things you can do you can create your bows sights and setups and your quivers um, you can plot or manually sort of enter your numbers for your scores um, and analyze your sort of groups uh, and create rounds um, but not much more than that um, as I said this app has a lot of extra things going for it such as down the middle there um, real time um, site advice um, arrow advice um, and chef sort of arrow selector and things like that and you can actually set up um, so your coach is a coaching version so your coach can see your kind of uh, stats and data as well so that's all pretty good um, so let's look at what the other versions do have in them So this is all the versions here. You can see that the um, coached version has a couple more things in it, such as um, create and answer self-assessment questionnaires uh, and synchronize your database with your coach um, as well. And that's the same for the coached version and the pro staff version. Um, otherwise, the premium version sort of has probably everything that you kind of need, to be honest. But today we are only looking at what the free version can do. So these are the um, upgrade options. If you're looking to upgrade, these are obviously inside the app. So if you want to get rid of the ads, then in the in British pounds, it's two pounds thirty nine for me to do that. And if I want to upgrade to premium it's uh, $8.99 so not a great deal so once you've installed the um, app this is kind of the main setup screen that you'd start off with there are several different um, screens that you move along the top here but we'll go into each one at each in turn really um, so as with all kind of um, scoring archery apps they normally always have this kind of setup screen so what can we do here well first of all obviously we can set up our bow give it a name what sort of bow we're shooting we can set it up various measurements and then at this time instead of saying arrows we've got quiver so what's in the quiver so we can set up our arrows and then obviously we've got sight marks as well that we can reference later on so if i click on bow i've got a couple of generic ones in here to start off with and if i click on that we can give our bow a name tell it what uh, the riser and the limbs we're using in any notes and then we'd save it by pressing the floppy disk icon on the top here so if we go to plus we'll put in test bow and then we'll just say 
นะโคยฮอริซอน and then we can say I don't know extol forty two pound or something like that and then we'd save it there and then we can see our test bow here if we go back in with our details in it obviously here you could change the bow type uh, oh I don't think you can afterwards but let's create a new one again and then try and change it yeah so we've got crossbows in here and you can choose recurve or compound by the looks of it okay so let's come out of there so that's our bow setup and then we'll add our arrows so it looks like we can pin our favorite arrows or the ones we use most so we're going to come in here and we'll give them a name I've already called them that but we'll duplicate it millimeters let's go into inches 29 point weights I think are one tens on mine diameter I've got a glue although that's in red so it looks like is it going to make me enter that one yes it is going to make me enter that one what are the diameter of ACs I'm not glue let's go with 10 mil so I'm going to set those up as my default so yeah okay so here's my default let's go back in here and we can change any of these things as well if we want to uh, what does that do okay it's numbering the arrows <clears throat> 12 arrows in there and how many times if we choose to arrow number when we're scoring or shooting um, how many times that arrow has been used so the pins in there because they're my obviously ones I'm going to use the most so this sight screen uh, option slightly confused me before I thought it was actually based on your going to be your distances sight marks should I say whereas actually adding a sight in here it's just actually your sight make brand I was saying Shibuya Ultima RC should have given it away really so in here you would actually put in your or your number of clicks per turn windage left and right up and down and give it a name so that's not for distance uh, it's just the actual name of your site and your site details and finally on this screen bow setup so I'm just going to come into this recurve one I'm going to actually let's come out and create a new one That's my test bow, so I'm gonna put my test bow in there. Uh, the site itself, I didn't name that one, but I could say I mean I can say 30 savon. So there's lots of things you can enter in here, like oh, list goes on, knocking points, tillers, plunger spring settings, plunger center shot, stabilizer setup notes, notes. So there's lots of information that you can hold about your bow, which is really good because if you make changes, you can always come back to it. Um, okay, so it needs uh, eye pin distance. So that's now my generic bow in here as well. So we've looked at those four screens now. So we've set up our bow. And then if we move along to the right, we get to record. So let's go into site settings. So if we set up the site marks, I know that that is 1.25 on my site up to 30 yards everything else stays the same we'll just save that in there so we can add our site settings for our bows and our arrows which are pinned obviously 
so we could add loads of site marks in there. So we're going to come back out again. Archery timer uh, works just like most of the other archery timers do, but it's nice to see that kind of built in. And then when we come into rounds, now this sort of was a little bit confused, confused me a little bit. I can see how it really works, but the rounds and matches. So you're going to set up a round, fine. You set up a round and then if you have a match, then you're going to enter the data in here, in this side. Um, so when we go into rounds, I've got a couple in here already, um, a basic sort of 25232 round here. Let's just go back. I haven't selected one at all. Right, we're going to come in and new. Now, if I go on to round now and I add a new round, there's quite a lot of different things I can do here. Obviously, you can set up, um, there are standard rounds in here already. There's a lot of 252 rounds in there. Um, under custom but then there are a lot of other uh, standard rounds already in here for you um, from the GNAS rounds for GB for to the world archery rounds uh, Australian rounds <laughs> Canadian French or you can add custom rounds in here so if we go for WA outdoor 70 round uh, one of three things training competition or tuning and you can add the location and the date and notes on there as well so I'll just give this a name so I know what I'm talking about when I come to it so WA save that off and there it is here um, at WA 70 round and basically we're going to then click on match and there's two things you can do here by clicking the plus you can obviously plot your arrows or just enter the score if you want to do that as in at every end as in you're going to the target boss and entering them in or you can enter the this score part means the overall score so you just enter your totals in there overall round scores or just the volumes of the arrows if you're training so I think it's quite important to always choose plot because I'm going to be going out shooting walking up to the target boss and recording the score so I'm going to choose plot and then I'm choosing um, in a competition the 70 meter. I've got six ends of six in here. I'm going to ramp that up to 12. It's got the archery timer in there. I'm not going to use that, touch that, but I could put my date and the weather. Say it's sunny. Um, and I'll say it's calm. I'll say it's left from the island and the wind. So I've got everything I need to go. I'm going to press save. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that result and you'll get the screen. Uh, the archery timer is on the left and then the input. This is where you're going to plot your arrows. Um, and then I'm going to, but if you don't want to do that, click on the scorecard. But we're going to start the round by pressing the green arrow. So we're ready to go. So this would be my first end. So I would pick up and show me what the score is. 10 zone scoring. So I'm going to drop that there. There you go. And then a nine. It's because I'm using it on them. Um, using it on my phone, it'd be slightly different. There you go. And then I'm going to move it again, just as if I was moving my finger around the screen, really. But this time with the cursor. So there's my end. So once I've scored my end. And that would have been a pretty good one for me. Um, you press the play button for the next to record the next set of scores. But this time, what we'll do is we'll enter it via the scorecard instead. So instead of going for plotting the arrows, we're just going to move to the scorecard. And all you have to do is we can see the previous um, end there. We're just going to go straight in here, and we're just going to enter our scores in. I was going to type those in then. No, you can't do that. Um, you have to actually choose the score at the bottom here. And you can hide that part if you want on the bottom here. But um, yeah, I was going to type them straight in. But we're just going to choose them. Okay, so that's got me entered. Then if I press play on that screen, we'll just go down to the next one. 
and that will keep adding these up for me until I finish um, the 12, 12 ends. Okay, and now what I should do is also is start to draw for me um, a group as well on the screen so you can see that. Um, it's a shame this, uh, this font has sort of disappeared under here. But anyway, um, it should then show your arrows and your separate shots as well individually. Um, so that's everything on that screen. So it's fairly easy to use to, to input your scores. Um, it's not a problem here really. Now under each screen there is a menu, a sub menu where you can change the settings. Um, what you will also find is that all of the sub menus are on the main menu on the main home screen as well so you don't have to be jumping around trying to find the separate menus on the separate screens which I thought was going to be a problem until I found they were really all included in the main menu so what we need to do to do that actually what I'm going to do is I don't know if I want to enter nine more ends but Just going to go back so I've come out of that and the match I think is still going on so I'm on 136 at the moment so I'm just going to come back so that was my match um, and we've done the site settings and we've defined the round so that's that screen really done now on the analysis side of things you can't see much more than what I showed you or you can't see any more than what I showed you on the previous screen about the groupings and the individual shots on the free version if you want to look at multi views group views graphs that sort of thing then you have to pay um, for the premium version so i'm just going to go back to a page we haven't seen this is uh, for the archers area obviously there's uh, a calendar for your shoots is in the premium version as well and then there's a coach section in here as well but two sections that are open to the free version is the form change where you can make notes about any form that you have uh, altered. I'll just come back out of that. And then personal bests, basically this will sort of show you various stats um, and tell you your skills um, based on the data that you've kind of entered. And if I go back one more, these uh, options are the final options which are basically for the coached version so that you can view your sort of athletes data so I was talking previously about the settings uh, the overall settings so if you go on here onto the cogwheel this is where you'll find the um, separate settings for each sort of sub menu uh, it's quite a lot in here to look at to be honest if I sort of uh, scroll down the only thing is that you will find some options that aren't open to you because they are in the uh, in the paid versions when you need to upgrade um, one thing i was a bit surprised about was that in the free version you can't actually back up any of your scores or data so that seems a bit pointless to me really using the free version if you've got no way of backing up your data um, Obviously, if you pay for premium, you could back up to Google Drive um, or even a local SD card on your phone. Um, but you'd need to be able to um, back up your archives first before you could see anything. So, yeah, not, not great that you can't back up anything even in the free version. Talking about the um, premium version again, what I thought would also be nice is if you could actually have a uh, set time to actually use the premium features to see if they're actually worth paying for and they are for you. So instead of not being able to see them at all, probably be able to sort of use them for a couple of weeks uh, and see if you get on with them and want to use them and then uh, upgrade um, if you want to. I think it would take me a while to go through every single option um, on here. 
obviously you could identify your arrows just like you could previously in my targets although it's quicker to score without doing that um, show the shot number identify the arrow show the shot rating so you give it a rating um, vein rotation colored backgrounds you can scale them up as well scale up uh, accurate knock colors different uh, left-handed right-handed uh, vibration on once you've entered your score or things like that so there's lots and lots and lots and lots of options in here to kind of uh, make it specific to you really and how you shoot and how you want to use it mm. right so that was the options screen so I've kind of been through really what you can do uh, in this um, one thing that you can't do um, which is a little bit annoying also uh, is output a final score sheet that is something that I was looking to do um, while reviewing all these apps so that my um, so I could send it off basically to the records officer at the club and he could input, input it into the uh, scoring database so I think that's a real um, setback um, that you can't do that in here at all so all I'm stuck with is my kind of um, my rounds my round scores in here but I can't do anything with them because um, it's got a kind of a download icon in here but I can't do anything I can archive it or delete it um, I think I would need to upgrade in order to be able to do that you can see now that the um, screen has changed I found a really good option under the question mark on the home screen you can actually change your background there you can put any photograph you want as a background in the app which is pretty cool and something else that I found out was that there is a massive manual um, you don't have to download it from your phone you can get to the Artemis web page as well um, on a normal laptop or or in, a, in any browser really um, and download the massive manual the manual is really good and it sort of spans about 130 pages in a PDF so there's a lot there to read as well about the features of it and what the app can actually do in case you're confused um, like I have been by um, the definitions between the round and the match which I found quite confusing because we've got the round in here but you can also come in and have a match but then also um, alter the the match as well um, from the round which but apparently um, yeah I won't go into it read the manual <laughs> it says that basically a round a match can have several rounds in it which is true um, because if you choose like a 17 meter with elimination it will set up separate sections for you so overall Artemis light is uh, is quite good a lot of uh, sort of famous archers have actually professional archers have used it uh, I think the free version is a little bit limited to be honest and it's not something you want to start using without uh, the upgraded version and being able to kind of uh, back up your data um, you need to be able to back up your data really um, I think some of the screens um, the visuals and some of the sort of fonts and things on the screens look a little bit dated and probably could do with a theme update um, the other sort of main obviously disadvantage at the moment is that there's no way of sort of getting any I can't see a way on the free version of getting any output out of it, score sheets, being able to share them or anything like that um, with other people or the clubs. So they're my kind of uh, main downsides of this free version. Um, but, you know, tell me what you think. If you, if you like Artemis and you use it a lot, tell me the features you like. 
Uh, tell me why you like it. How long you've used it for? Have you had any problems with it? Um, I'd be really interested to know. So that's it for now. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.